everyone, my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my September wrap up. Now we have finally gotten to that time of the year where it is on the verge between summer and fall. October is basically here now and so starts the fall season which is one of my favorite seasons. September was kind of a struggle for me for books. I, I almost ended up just reading one book in the month of September which is pretty pitiful for me. But as you guys have known in the last couple months, for some reason, reading I've just taken like a thousand times slower, which I don't know why. So it was kind of affecting me even more this month, but thankfully just yesterday I finished two more books. So at least it's not that bad this month. So in total, I read a total of three books. The first book that I read in September, which is the third book of the DC Icon series, and also I buddy read with my sister, and that book is Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. Now first off, I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little details on what happens in this book. What this book is about is about Selena, who eventually turns into Catwoman but you get a little background information about her life, um, her trials, and her transformation, and also Batwing is in it. So like, Batwing is not Batman, he's like Robin, but Batwing. He was also known as Luke Fox, who is very millionaire, and so if you guys know the backstory of Catwoman, kind of more on the side of a villain per se, and there's actually a lot more to this book than I thought there would be. There's some more characters that I didn't think that would appear in this book that really add to this book. I actually really enjoyed it. Now I had issues with the first two books, and I just didn't like the writing style. Sarah J Mass's writing came through in this book, and I just love her writing style. This book was so much easier to read, there was more of a flow of a book and I just really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Things were explained very well and I've always really enjoyed the backstory of Catwoman and so I think that Mass really did a really good job on creating a backstory for Selena and writing her POV and I was just very overall very happy with this book. So if you guys were wondering if you should read the first two books, because if you just want to read Sarah J Mass's book, you don't have to read the first two books. They're not connected at all. If you guys like Sarah J Mass's writing and superheroes, I would recommend this book. And I gave this book a five out of five stars. The next book that I read, which is the second book in a series that I started last month, and that book is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the To All the Boys I Have Loved Before series, and if you guys know, I came upon this series because I watched the Netflix movie. I really love the Netflix movie. I don't usually like coming of age type of movies anymore or books, but this book just clicked with me and I thought it was so cute. So I was like, you know what, why not? So I ended up audio booking this book. To my surprise, this book picks up right after book one, but comparing the Netflix movie to book series, I think that the movie took place maybe first and second book. There was some stuff that I still knew about, but there was some other stuff that happened in this book that I didn't expect. I did find that I kind of got tired of some of the drama, especially the drama that just the same thing happens over and over. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I guess I just really loved the overall idea of book one, which I find that happens a lot when in series, when the next book comes out. Basically in this book, the, there's still drama between characters that were in the first one, some turmoil that happens with characters and new characters that come into the series. And that's really all I'm going to say for spoilers, because if you guys know, I don't really like to talk a lot about second, third, fourth books, like what they're about because I don't want to spoil people at all because I've gotten spoiled by that because sometimes I just want to go into the book blind. But that's really all I'm gonna say. I still liked the writing style of this book, but like I said, I did find that the come of 
of age just started to bother me a bit. I am still gonna continue this series because I do think it's quite a cute series and it's kind of nice to have a contemporary book once in a while. I gave this book a three stars. The third book that I read in September, which I did a buddy read with Bookish Buddies, aka basically my sister Heather and Millie, and, and that book is Every Heart is a Doorway by C. Nan McGowan. This book is a short story, but not short story, you could say, because this book is a part of a series but this book is about 150 pages so it's not that long of a read but it is part of a larger series. This book has been recommended to me on Goodreads so many times, so many years and so I finally got around to reading it. What this book is about is basically there is a home for specific people. Parents send their kids off to this home and the book follows a character named Nancy who at one point visited a land. All these characters and students who live at this home have gone to nonsense or logic or all these different places. Or in other words, you could say some of them went down the rabbit hole, but each place is different and each person has gone through different places. Basically all these parents send their kids to this home and they go to school here and I thought it was kind of a children's book but I was very much wrong. There's a mystery that goes on throughout this story. I felt like this book is more the introductory of this series because you do get to know about people's worlds and stuff like that and the characters but at the same time you're just starting to learn. The book can be a standalone, I guess you could say. The mystery, you find out the conclusion of the mystery at the end of the book. But I do feel that there is quite a bit of other details that are not known yet just by reading the first book. This is more of a dark book, which if you guys like more darker mysteries, then I would suggest this book. Quicker read at the beginning, at the second half is harder to read because the paragraphs were longer which I guess that just means I'm just a lazy reader right now. I overall gave this book a three stars. Also one book I know I will be currently reading in October at the very end of October starting October 24th and that book is Kingdom of Ash. Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. This is the last book in the series. Oh my word. You guys know. I've been why I'm, I'm just ready for this book. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the series to be done. <laughs> I, I don't know how long I've been reading this series. I'm just ready for some closure and to move on and Sergi Mass to come out with maybe a different series or something. I'm just ready for it to be over. I'm just ready for conclusion to know, be at peace and move on with life. And those are all the books I read in September. Let me know in the comments below what books you guys read in September or what books you're planning on reading in October. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, just hover on my face and hit subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.